Hey everyone, I'm John Lynn, the founder and chief editor at Healthcare IT Today. I'm excited to bring you another in our series of interviews with Health IT. And we're excited to be here at the ECW National Conference. And our guest is Gila Brown. She's direct, Senior Director of Quality Management at HHM Health. Welcome. Thank you so much for having me. I'm excited to be here. Yeah, a return guest on the show. I you know, know, we're excited to have you here and share about your experience uh, with Suno AI yes. and their ambient clinical voice AI medical scribe solution. But before we go there, tell us a little bit about yourself and HHM Health. HHM Health is a federally qualified health center. Um, I personally have been there for 10 years and wow. I love it. Um, we are dedicated to providing high quality, um, compassionate care to the community that we serve. We're expanding and the technology that eClinicalWorks has provided to us has been phenomenal. That's awesome. Well, I, we want to talk about a specific uh, technology that ECW is doing called Suno. Uh, tell us, what's been your practice's experience utilizing Suno? So we were kind of slow to adopt Suno. Mm -hmm. um, they were skeptic, the providers were skeptical, not really sure how well it would work. Would, does it really pick up all the conversation? Um, and would it be, um, would it transcribe the way they needed it to? Sure. And since they have started, we started with six providers and we said start slow and use it. And oh my goodness, they cannot stop talking about it. We have one provider in particular. She probably uses this. Um, she's a very high volume provider. Okay. So she's probably seeing three to 400 of her patients a month Amazing. using the Suno technology. She never has an unlocked note. She <laughs> like walks around proud as a peacock, like my notes are locked, what about y'all's? <laughs> so it's, it has been tremendous. And now that you guys have um, the expanded languages that are offered on the Suno, um, technology has really allowed us to expand and use it more throughout our practices. That's interesting. We should talk about that in a minute, but I'd love to hear, it sounds like you started with a pilot group and then you're expanding. What was the training like as well, you know, as you rolled it out to those groups and as you're rolling it out, I assume, to more people at the organization? Sure, absolutely. So we started with six providers across multiple disciplines okay. um, because we wanted to see how it would work with a pediatric provider, sure. a family medicine provider, our infectious disease provider, because they, they offer different services. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to see how the technology really would work with how they um, conducted their visits. And once we kind of worked through the kinks, um, we did a training where they all came together. We did the demo. Um, we helped them do their voice recognition okay. and record that. And when they were satisfied with that, um, their first patient, um, I was right outside the door in case something okay. went wrong. Nice. <laughs> um, I could jump in and help them. But we, you know, we went through it. And once they did all of the trial and errors, um, it took about a week and they were off and running like full steam, no holds barred. Interesting. And did you see any differences between specialties that you needed to learn about or, or did you find that it worked across all of them? It worked across all specialties the same. So there was nothing in particular that needed to be done differently or, or spoken differently that made a difference to how the note transcribed. Now I have my dental provider saying, hey, when can we get Suno? And I'm like, I got to figure that one out because, you know, they need the microphone on the computer. And I'm like, whoa, let's, you know, many steps, many steps. So, so we're, um, all of our providers have been super excited about using it. We have now um, implemented Suno for all of our pediatric providers okay. um, because they're our highest volume of providers. Mm. They see anywhere from 70 to 80 patients a day. Okay. So. Wow. All of them are um, fully implemented on Suno. Um, most of our family providers are implemented on Suno. And next, we're going to work on our women's providers um, for those OB prenatal visits and things like that. Wow. Well, we saw the dental demoed on stage uh, yes. you know, here at National Conference. So it's coming as well. But uh, that is a different mindset. But they're working on it. So that's awesome. Yes. Which makes sense. The ECW works with so many FQHCs that have dental. Yes. How have the staff reacted to the implementation of Suno? It's interesting you said there was some reticence before. You know, I think they, a lot of providers have been burnt by technology. But mm -hmm. how have they reacted now that they've been able to adopt it? Sure. So some of the hesitancy that we were hearing was not only from the providers or the staff, but the patients asking why we were recording mm. the visit. So that was something we had to come up with a script 
okay. um, that our staff could use explaining what the SUNO technology was and how the visit would be conducted. Um, I think Dr. Raj, one of our pediatric, um, she's actually our pediatric medical director. Uh -huh. She said it the best. Um, she said that the SUNO technology allows her to fully focus on the patient during the visit without having to look at her notes or type anything in. So allowing her to use the SUNO technology and to record everything allowed her to capture all the important moments of the visit without disrupting that one-on-one -on -one attention that she was able to give to the parent and the child. So great. I mean, you're giving me flashbacks to my visits to my kid's <laughs> pediatric doctor and his head in the freaking computer. Yes. And you're like, uh, and I knew what he was doing and I hated it, right? Like <laughs> yes, yes. Now they're able to actually sit in the room. The laptop is off to one side and they are fully engaged, forward facing to the patient, which has just made the experience we've seen on our satisfaction scores have okay. started to improve as well because the patients are starting to say, my provider really is listening and uh -huh. they seem really engaged in my visit. And that's because they're not having to focus on what do I order next or what do I, where do I need to type or what did I miss? It's so beautiful that the provider loves it and the patient loves it. That, that, that's awesome. You know, another concern that some people have with AI medical scribes in general is around the quality of the note. What's kind of been your experience with note quality with Suno and kind of the providers giving you feedback on the quality of what it does? Well, HHM health providers are very verbal and vocal <laughs> about things. So they do not hesitate to tell yeah. me when something is not working right. For sure. Um, and absolutely, um, I've heard very little um, feedback as far as negative um, transcriptions or the transcription was wrong. It may, there's a couple of words here and there, okay. more, you know, maybe some of the more or the less common words that didn't quite spell out right, um, but that, that was the only correction that they needed to make. Um, for the most part, the notes flow very seamless, they're accurate, and they drop right in. They're able to accept and keep moving. And you mentioned something about multiple languages. It, it was fascinating to see some of those demos in 70-something uh, languages, if I remember right, that yes. they're, and, and that's on a lot of their different solutions. Uh, you know, what's been your experience with the kind of that multilingual aspect? So at HHM Health, we have over 68 languages spoken by patients wow. that come through our doors. So having accessibility to multilingual um, tools is really, really important for us. So I have been pushing eClinical Works Burmese, Burmese, we need Burmese. <laughs> um, it has been really important for us to get the languages. Um, it, when Suno first rolled out, it was just English, Spanish, and then they quickly expanded the languages. And now having the ability, I think it's up to 32 languages that are now available in the tool, it has been absolutely amazing. Interesting. And how are you measuring kind of the benefits, the ROI of, of yep. Suno and being able to roll it out? And are there some benefits maybe even down the road that you mm -hmm. think are going to be coming? So a couple of them, as I mentioned, patient satisfaction scores mm -hmm. increased. Um, also, we have um, internally at our organization a 72-hour lock rule mm. on all open encounters. That allows billing to happen um, more quickly and for us to get paid quickly. So we actually do monitor that on a regular basis. Wow. So we have seen an, a huge improvement in us being able to bill out faster because the, lock, the notes are being locked quicker. How did process that? That's interesting. Uh, I worked with a provider who had hundreds of notes and I'm like, how does he even oh go back gosh. and document them? So you that's amazing can't. that you're so proactive. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Seeing that many patients, there's absolutely no way you can remember you know, four days from now, what you exactly had a conversation with that patient about. So being able to, you know, hit that and get that not, Dr. Fornos, our infectious disease provider who, uh -huh. who actively, energetically uses Suno every single day with pretty much 99% of her patients. Um, she has not had a note unlocked more than 24 hours in the last two months. Amazing. 
Well, I guess you can use that new pajama time uh, report inside eClinical Works and see how yeah. much that's changed, right? Uh, yes. Which is an amazing report to see how many people are working after hours. Uh, yes. It would be interesting to look before and after. But uh, I appreciate you talking with me about your experience and your provider's experience using Suno. And thanks, everyone, for watching and listening. If you want to find more great healthcare IT content like this, be sure to check it out at healthcareittoday.com or search for Healthcare IT Today on your favorite podcast application. Thanks so much. Thank you.